So in today's web dev tip, we're going to take a look at how you can use the constructor function or feature within a TypeScript class. So this is going to be pretty much the same as it would be within a JavaScript class, but there is one key difference which I'll show you, uh, which is a really useful feature. So in the previous web dev tip, we created this basic class of a user that has these three member properties, uh, but in order to actually assign values to those properties, we needed to create a new object and then manually assign each value in turn. So what we can do instead of doing that is create a constructor function like this and it's just using the uh, keyword constructor and it looks very much like the login function that we created before but this is a special function that will get called when we create a new uh, user object using the new keyword down here. Okay, so uh, what we can do in the constructor function is accept several arguments and then use those within our class. So for example, we might accept a name property and we also might accept an age property and notice how I'm typing these exactly the same as the properties we've already got in the user class. And we could also say is pro dev, uh, which is exactly the same as what we've got up here. Okay, so now if we scroll down to this line here where we're creating a new user, uh, we've got a problem because TypeScript is recognizing that the uh, when we create a new user object, uh, this constructor function is being called. And this location here is where we need to pass the arguments in, which is what is called in the constructor function. So you can see here it's expecting those three arguments that we've defined, uh, but obviously uh, we're not providing any. So, so it's worth saying at this point as well, you can make any of these properties optional just by using the question mark as we saw uh, when we were creating our interfaces and types. And it should now say that we're expecting two or three arguments, but we got zero. So we need at least two arguments to create a new user object. So that's fine. We can just pass in some literal values here. So we need to pass in a string and it should also still be respecting the types as well. So you can see age needs to be a number. So let's make sure we put in a correct number in here. And now you can see that the TypeScript errors have gone. And if we were to create our user object again, we should get the same output as we had before. Uh, so let's just check that here. So run npm run start. But actually what we're seeing is an empty object. And the reason for that is that even though you've provided these values as uh, values to the constructor, you need to still assign them to the user class itself. So typically that would be done like this. So you'd say this.name is equal to name, this.age is equal to age, and this.isProDev is equal to isProDev. And if that's undefined, we can just make sure we set that as false. So uh, if we were to run that again, you'll see the output that we get is name, age, and isProDev have all been set on the object. And we've also got this default value of false because we didn't provide uh, a value for isProDev down here in the uh, call to the new user constructor. So if you've got lots of options that you're passing into your constructor, this uh, constructor function can get a little bit unwieldy. Uh, so imagine if you've got 10 different arguments that you're passing in, then obviously you will have, need to have 10 different lines to assign those values. And that can be a bit of a problem unless you need to have any particular logic in here like this. So what we can do, a little TypeScript feature, is to assign an access modifier to the arguments in the constructor function, and that will automatically do some assignment to the uh, values that we're passing in. So we're going to cover these in a bit more depth in another tutorial. But what we can do is actually just remove those assignments here. And if here next to the actual argument name, we put the keyword public, and then also do the same for age and also for is pro dev. What this will actually do is when we pass in these values down here, they will be automatically assigned as member values, member properties to the class that we're creating. And you can see we're getting an error at the moment. And you should see that it's saying that uh, in Visual Studio Code that we're getting a duplicate identifier. So if you do use this approach, you don't actually need to uh, have the members defined within the class. So we can just delete these from here. So if we save that and run it again, you can see that the object has been created successfully and the name and age properties that we've passed in and down here have been successfully assigned. And that's just a nice little shortcut so you don't have to do the this.name is equal to the value that's passed in. And of course you don't have to have the member properties themselves uh, defined within your class itself. So it's a bit of a time saving and neatness thing and it's a nice little feature of TypeScript. So there you go, hopefully that's explained to you a little bit more about constructor functions in TypeScript. Make sure you stay tuned for more web dev tips.